Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had talked about the zonal energy. Now, a link to that video I'll give in the description as well as over here. So in this particular chapter, we'll talk about the internet energy. Now, a zonal energy was restricted to a certain region within a certain zone. Whereas if you're using an internet energy, such restrictions do not exist. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create an internet energy and then we have to associate an IP address with this particular internet energy. So this can be basically an external IP address of a virtual machine that you've created. Now, unfortunately, within one energy, you can only associate it with one particular IP address that is external IP address. Now, if you want to have multiple instances, then you need to create multiple energies and associate each of those energies with your virtual machines or your external IP address. So in this example, what we will do is we will create one internet energy we will create a virtual machine and we'll associate that virtual machine with the internet energy and after that again it's going to be the same routine we're going to take this energy and we're going to associate it with the back end service of our load balancer and then again the front end service is going to have an ip address and we'll use this ip address to communicate with this particular internet energy now one thing to note is that this particular energy can be associated with any IP address. So it need not be an IP address of a virtual machine. So it can be a third party IP address as well. So that is one thing you need to take care of. So let's go back to a console and let's see how we can create an internet energy. So here I have a few virtual machines running. I'll be using the external IP address of this particular virtual machine for my energy. So if you open this particular external IP, all that it does is it just returns a Apache web server page. So you can use any web server that you wish. So this is just for the sake of demonstration. So let's copy this external IP and let's go down and let's create our energy. Let's click on create energy and let's call this the internet energy. And it has to be of type internet. So next thing you need to do is you need to mention the default port. So let's just mention this as 80. And here you need to mention the IP and the port. You also have the option of mentioning the fully qualified domain name if you have a domain associated with your virtual machine. So for our particular sake, we'll just have the IP address. So let's paste the IP address that we have and let's click on create. So let's refresh this. And if you open your internet energy, and if you go down, you can, you can see that you cannot add more than one. However, you have the option of removing it and adding a new network endpoint if you wish. So that's it for the NEG. Let's go back and create a load balancer. Let's click on create load balancer. This is again going to be an HTTP load balancer. Let's click on start. So this is going to be from the internet and it's going to be a classic load balancer. So let's create a backend service. So let's click on create backend service. And here we need to choose the internet energy over here. Let's just call this as energy backend again. And here let's add the internet energy that we've created. Let's click on done. And that's the only thing we can do. So let's click on create and let's click on OK and let's go back to our front end. So front end is basically just going to give us our IP address that we'll use. So nothing to do over here. So let's click on create and create a load balance. Also, let's give it a name. Let's call this as a LB. OK, our load balance is done. Let's open this load balancer. And again, you'll get an IP address. Let's open this IP address. And let's wait for a few minutes for this to give the correct output. And here after a few minutes, you can see that your load balancer will give you the appropriate output. So this is basically the page that is being served from the NEG. So before concluding, let's have a recap on what we've done. So we've created an internet NEG. We've associated it with the external IP of a virtual machine that we had created. And then this internet NEG, we had assigned it to a backend service. And finally, the frontend service gave us the IP address of the load balancer. And we used this particular IP address to communicate with this particular internet NEG. So I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.